I've got the Earl Grey again, like last time. It's nicer when you sip it and don't down it all in one. So we've reached episode three of Picard. As always, I'm going to have, well, I say always, I mean for the past two episodes that there have been. Like the past two episodes, I'm going to have clips from me watching the show coming up. There probably won't be too many of them. Nobody is thinking, nobody is listening, they're just reacting. I think this one progressed the story along to a point where we know it's going to move on from here. The whole ending sequence was like, this is where the adventure begins. Nice uniform. Did they de-age him a bit? So to be honest, once again I don't have too much to say about it, just like last episode. And this time it isn't because I was hungover. Um, was I hungover for the last episode? I think it was the last episode I was hungover for. Wow, I need to get my life together. Hugh looks good. His implants are looking really cool. That's the kind of cameo I want to see more of. So we saw Hugh and we, we got the impression that we're going to see Bruce Maddox. And this is really what I wanted from the series at the beginning, to see old reoccurring characters popping up again. A strong hat on Bruce Maddox. I don't want it. Carry on. <laughs> Classic Picard. As for the new characters, I'm still... To be honest, I'm still not really interested. I'm sure that might change as time goes on, but... That's why if you hear me not talking about them a lot, it's because I don't really have anything to say about them. Oh, he's not impressed. Drinking on the job. But, what? He was so unimpressed that he folded his arms twice. Wait, wait, wait. I just got an idea. Let me see if anyone's... This is so nerdy. No one's uploaded it yet. I can get my credit on IMDb. What would you call that? A, um, continuity error. This is actually exciting. Did you say fold arms or cross arms? Maybe I'll Google it. This is getting very complex. We got a very sweet and telling scene where Picard refuses to sit in the captain's chair. It's going to be really interesting going through the series and seeing his, I guess, um, guilt and memories coming back to him from all the times he's had. You are an emergency okay, so program. they're the same guy, right? I thought I was being racist. But I'm pretty sure here? Well, they're the same guy. So he has an EMH of himself. Oh, no, no, you, you, you. And you won't miss it. Any of us. One bit. Oh, yes, the music coming in. Miss you and Jaban and number one. Yeah, number one. <laughs> I tried my best to belong to this place. But I don't think I ever truly felt at home here. So this is actually quite an emotional scene. Probably, I think it was probably the most emotional we've had on this series so far. Just the way the music was swelling, Picard was looking up to the stars, talking about where his home was. I got some inner light vibes from it. Uh, not that I'm saying it's anywhere near that good. But if something reminds me of that, then it's definitely going in the right direction. And again, I will be honest with you, the emotional moments with the other new characters when they're talking about losing their security clearance and this guy talking about losing his former captain, I didn't really feel anything. That might be more to do with me being a sociopath. Then we get the same guys breaking into their house, into the vineyard, pushing over all the Picards they can see. No, oh, don't you dare. And I had kind of an issue here. I'm not usually someone who likes to complain about camera angles or any of that stuff, but I didn't like the way most of this was shot. 
This would be more intense if I could tell what was happening. Uh, the jarring millisecond clips. Um, shaky cam. I didn't like it in this situation. Hmm, okay. So their mother is like a program they communicate with when they're stressed out. In the first episode we saw Daj calling her mother who told her to find Picard. And now in this episode the mother is called again and she's being kind of creepy and overly normal not telling her the truth and ends up activating or it seems like activating some kind of program to send her asleep. So someone, maybe Maddox, someone has installed this mother that isn't real but they think is real and they call her when they have problems and she probably washes their coats for them too. No, there's no need to worry, I just um, thought for a split second that you could possibly be a computer program in my head. But you're not, so that's great. No, no, you don't, you don't need to come over, no. I'm back. So, as I was saying about not finding a connection to any of the new characters... Can you... They're brother and sister, right? No, stop that! Do they do this? Is this what Romulans do? If you have a brother and sister, have you ever talked to them like this? Because if you have, then just... L no, don't let me know, I don't want to know. I mean, I kind of prefer her as a human, but see that you don't fall in love. I think it's a bit too late for that. Why are the incestuous Romulan ones always the hottest? Maddox. So we are going to see Bruce Maddox again. I'm all in favour of that. Oh no, no, I'm. Yes. The music. Oh, he's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. Say it. Engage. So it looks like this is where the journey really begins. And I'm hoping they'll go to all these different planets, meet all these different characters, different races. We're gonna see, I hope, everyone again. Riker, Crusher, Geordi. I wanna see what Worf looks like now. And if you weren't aware, I'm re-watching Star Trek Next Generation 2. So if you want to watch me watch that, then you can watch that. Here, it'll be, it'll be this side, I think. If you liked this video, then don't do anything. You don't need to like it or favourite it or subscribe it or... You don't even need to watch it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go see if my mother is real or just a computer program designed to stop me from going crazy. And I can't be bothered making this joke. See you in the next adventures of the man who was formerly known as Captain of the Starship, Patrick Stewart. <laughs>